So I'm going to answer a question here that I've seen brought up a number of times because um, a lot of people seem unsure about it. And this question is going to concern Alice and her size changing ability. And that question is going to be, when does Alice choose her size? Does she do it before or after drawing the cards and seeing those? And so what we want to know is that if Alice could use the information that she gets from that initial hand, if that information can be used to change size or if she has to change size before. And it's a question I've seen a lot of people argue because um, it seems to not be as simple an answer. Um, part of it is I think people are getting confused on some things. Also, we don't do everything in the exact same order that the instruction book tells us to. And I think that's where we're getting a little bit confused as well. Okay, so we'll look at the instruction book from Battle of Legends Volume 1. And we'll also take a look at Alice's character card here. So we'll take a look at Alice's character card here. This first little sentence here is the one that is relevant to us. When you place Alice, choose whether she starts the game big or small. And so when you place Alice, is going to be when you place her on the board like that. Now, what a lot of folks are going to say here is going to be, well, that's just right there at the start of the game. The first thing that you do is you place the character down. So it would be before you draw, right? Well, let's see what this book has to say here. We're going to go to the setup page here. First of all, choose a battlefield and place it on the table. Well, yeah, that's the first thing that we did was we chose the battlefield and placed it on the table each player chooses a hero and takes the corresponding 30 action cards character cards hero many psychic tokens health dials and any other components for their hero all right i've chosen alice and my opponent has chose somebody else three each player sets their hero starting health and their sidekick starting health on the matching health dials starting health is found on the character cards sidekicks without a health dial have only one health each Okay, each player shuffles their action cards to form a single deck and places it face down, then draws five cards from their starting hand. Okay, the younger player places their hero on the one space on the battlefield. Then they place their sidekicks in separate spaces within the same zone as their hero. If their hero is in a space that is part of multiple zones, their sidekick may be in any of those zones. If you have to make a decision about your fighters at the beginning of the game, such as Alice's size, make it now. So this tells us here that placing the hero on the starting position and specifically mentions here that making a decision about Alice's size happens after drawing the cards for their starting hand. Now, in the instructions here, it says that um, the younger player places first and then the older player places on the number two spot. In most events that we do and in most casual play, people will just kind of decide which position each of them are going to take. They are not going to um, do the older and younger thing but I don't think that changes the fact that down here, it tells us specifically, especially here on the Battle of Legends Volume 1 instruction book, it tells us specifically where the decision for Alice's size is made. It is made after drawing those five cards to start your hand. And once again, I think that that's kind of complicated by the fact that most of the time, we tend, especially in online play, we tend to place right away and then draw, but we're actually kind of placing out of order according to the instructions there. And so this is a case where the rule book here actually has the relevant information in it and not just the uh, character card, but I think the rule book makes it very clear that you draw the cards, and then Alice gets to choose her size.
All right, so there's our answer for Alice that yes, you do get to draw and look at your hand and then change size, which means if you're playing in a tournament game that has mulligans, that yes, you can take a look at your hand, decide what you're doing about your hand, if you're going to keep a mulligan, and then decide if you're going to be large or small. So if this was something that was helpful, give it a thumbs up and a like. You can go down into the comments section if you have any other questions or comments to make, or if you think I'm just completely wrong on this. Although based off of the information that we have available to us in these, it seemed to be correct there. And you can also subscribe to my channel so you can take a look at all the videos that I post so you don't miss anything. We'll see you around next time.